Hi, pharmacist Curtis Alexander here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Renvoke. This is part of the 101 series where we do about a five to seven minute video, just giving you an overview of the medication. So if your doctor is discussing it with you or you want to discuss it with your doctor, you have a pretty good idea of what to expect, what to talk about. Before we get going, give us a thumbs up if the video was helpful. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to see other videos like this, medication, supplements, all from a pharmacist perspective with just plain language. So again, hopping into Renvoke, it's a um, fairly new medication that's come out. It's an oral medication used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. And it's used to treat rheumatoid arthritis with or without some of the other medications that come along with it. And really the gold standard that they will start people on with rheumatoid arthritis, usually methotrexate, um, or some of the other non-biological DMARGs, your sulfasalazine, your hydroxychloroquines, those sorts of things. So you can take it with or without those things, and again, for rheumatoid arthritis. Now another drug, and I've done a couple of other videos, one straight up on Zeljans, which is one of the other drugs uh, that acts in the same way as Renvoke, been around longer. And I also did a comparison video of Zeljans versus Renvoke. So if you're interested, um, there's some other videos you can watch where I, I discuss some of the uh, comparisons and issues with the medications. Now, jumping back, Renvoke is the mechanism of action. It's called a JAK inhibitor, which is a Janus kinase inhibitor. Basically what that does it is, is it blocks cytokine signaling. The cytokine signaling is part of our inflammatory response. And I try to remind people that when we're treating something like rheumatoid arthritis, we always think of inflammation and blocking that, and that's correct. But inflammation is also a good thing in the body because it's part of our immune response. So we have some issues that crop up when we block this inflammation, and we'll get to that in a second. Renvoke is not um, immune from those sorts of excuse upon. It's not immune from that sort of uh, reaction. Now, one of the questions I get, is Renvoke a biologic? And the answer is no. It's, um, I, I wouldn't call it a biologic in the fact of how most people think about it. Really, our, our biologics, we generally think of the Humeras, the Ambrels, that kind of thing. So I encourage people to not think about them in that fashion. Um, but as far as immunosuppressant, does it act as an immunosuppressant? No, that's not what it's used for. Can it suppress the immune system? Yes, it can. So those are some things to keep in mind. Um, the dosing, uh, just 15 milligrams a day. And uh, as far as how long it takes to work, you're going to hear people say that, you know, they notice the difference in a couple of weeks. I believe that's pretty um, ambitious. I don't think you're probably going to see it in two weeks. That would be the earliest I'd expect to see results. More likely in studies, they had people that it took them a couple months to really see the differences come through. Um, monitoring, this is something you want to keep in mind before you can get on or invoke before your insurance company is going to approve it because most likely your insurance company is going to push back and go, um, if you haven't tried any of these other uh, medications, they're going to want you to try those or they're going to provide some, for to, some sort of pushback because it is expensive. Probably not going to want to pay for it right off the bat. Now, with that being said, they're also going to require certain labs. So we're talking a tuberculosis test. Uh, our office use the, uses what's called a quantifieron test, which is a blood test. It's not the um, skin test that they use. The other thing they'll measure for is hepatitis. Um, and again, these are immune things. We want to make sure somebody doesn't have some of these immune issues going on because we can see the immune system lowered. And last, they're going to look at some blood counts as you go along. Now, one thing to keep in mind, CYP3A4 is a liver enzyme. Renvoke is broken down with that enzyme. That's important to know because if you take any medications that are CYP3A4 blockers, they're going to block the enzyme that breaks down Renvoke. We're going to see Renvoke blood levels go up. So you want to be very careful about using Renvoke with any of our CYP3A4 blockers that are strong blockers. 
that would be your azole antifungals like fluconazole. It can be HIV medications. It can be um, some of the blood pre pressure medications like verapamil. Your pharmacy is going to be able to check for these interactions, but it's something to keep in mind between you and your doctor. Side effects, again, most common one with Renvoke was upper respiratory tract infection, up to 14% of people. The other less common ones, we've got some nausea at 4% and cough at 2%, but again, uh, the, the immune system concerns uh, are the biggest thing that we worry about with Renvoke. The other thing that we worry about, it's not common, but when it happens, it's, you know, it's very problematic, very troublesome for the person, and that's herpes zoster. So basically shingles. Uh, if somebody can get a recurrence and have that go active, they can get shingles, it can trigger that. Again, not common, but it's a good idea to talk to your doctor about getting your shingles vaccine, making sure you have that prior to starting Renvoke. And the last thing to cover is the cost. Again, I already talked about how insurances are gonna most likely provide some pushback because it's expensive. Um, but there is copay assistance, there's financial assistance. I will include a link in the description of the video to the manufacturer's website where you can look into that, see um, if they can help you and if so, how much. So something to keep in mind, there's, there's alternatives for you. If you've used Renvoke, know anybody who has, I'd appreciate you commenting below. I'll try to keep an eye on that and respond as, as much as I can, but your guys' feedback uh, is appreciated. Also remember, we've got the other, I've done a video on Zelljans versus Renvoke if you're struggling with those two, and also a video on the other option on the market, which is Zelljans. So check those out. Again, I appreciate you uh, watching the video. Until the next one, thank you very much.